Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Today we are going to see mainframe DB2 interview questions, my part one. So, so what are the interview questions that might be asked when you are when you are supposed to be asked on DB2? So normally they might be asking about the uh, written codes you are expected uh, while running any SQL codes. So. The, the basic uh, SQL codes that might be asked like 911, deadlock or timeout, uh, unit of work has been rolled out, rolled back, or 913, deadlock or timeout, uh, unsuccessful execution, 818, timestamp mismatch in load module and a plan, what you need to do, do another bind, 100, no more rows found, this is a normal SQL road which we occur when that uh, table is empty or you don't find any no rules 305 null indicator variables needed 407 value is null and column cannot contain nulls yes 551 unauthorized access on object 803 attempt to access duplicate rows select returned more than one row use a cursor instead this is also a I mean we get it regularly when we don't do a proper programming or proper logical operations so 904 resource not available whether there is no resource and you're trying to access it then it shows a 904 922 connection authority failure make sure that DB2 connections established property and other thing we need to we need to be careful in this thing 922 connection authority fail next 612 duplicate column name right so these are the various written codes, SQL codes that might be asked and that might be very important to us. We have we have many very various various written codes. So these are few among them. So DB2 multiple choice question that might be asked, or it can you can take it as a direct question. So my question is like. Uh, what could be the maximum number of columns used in DB2 table? 222, 112, and 224. No, it's 224. So these are the maximum number of columns that can be used in a DB2 table. How many subqueries can you combine together? Any guess? It's 15. B37 append during spoofy. What does it mean? Any guess? Space requirements, storage violation, data type mismatch, none of the above. Space requirements, right? How many buffer pools are there in DB2? 8, 4, 6, 12. What is it? How many buffers call? I'll leave it to you. This, this, right. What is the command used by TSO user to invoke DB2? DSN logon, DSN run, DSN entry, none of the above. DSN run. What is the error code minus 803? Storage violation, unique index violation, none of the above. It's unix index violation. Maximum number of row per page. Maximum number of rows per page. 92, 102, 127, 98. It's 127. What is the size of data page? Right? 4K to 8K, 16K to 32K, 32K to 32k or 64k what is it it's 4k to 8k operation reads the sql statement in dbrm and check the syntax those statements what is it is it plan is it bind is it package is it link it's bind bind operation reads the sql statements in the dbrm and check the syntax of those statements can you define an index if the table size less than 10 pages yes or no can't say no. Can you define an index if the table size is less than 10 pages? No. What is the maximum uh, length of SQL CA? It's 136. What's the maximum number of volumes that can be added to store group? What is the maximum number of volumes that can be added to store group? It's 133. What are the maximum and minimum number of partitions allowed in partition table space? Minimum 8, maximum 16, max minimum 4, 64, 6, 12, and this. Minimum 4 and max 6, 12. What technique is used to retrieve data from more than one table in a single SQL statement? Cursor, using simple select statements, using union, using joins. 
Yes, obviously, it's using join. What is the maximum number of tables that can be stored in a partition table? 35181. How to see the structure of DB2 table? Using Spoofy, using QMF, using DS, DCL, and using TSL. Using QMF, you can easily see it. What is the error code? Minus 471. Duplicate cursor name, not variable, not declare. Duplicate it and duplicate it. None. Duplicate cursor name. What is the error code? Minus 105. It's invalid string. What is error code minus 530? Invalid column name. Insert or update value of foreign key invalid. Invalid SQL statement. Duplicate table name. Insert or update value for foreign key is invalid. What is the error code minus 333? Index not defined. Primary key not defined. None of the above. It's index not defined. So that's all I have. Uh, in this video it just uh, it's about the simple 20 questions that might be asked i would be coming up with more more and more questions on db2 so keep watching my videos on youtube if you feel this video has helped you kindly please please feel free to subscribe me on this youtube channel thank you so much have a great and wonderful day